Welcome to part two. So now we're gonna leave the house that we're in. We're gonna go through the doorway on your right. So this is where you're meant to go, it's all part of the story. The bridge to your left is unaccessible just yet until near the end of the game. So now as we proceed through this cave section, you will find a pool of water. In here you will find a few fish. If you decide you want to kill these, these will also be good for money or if you wanna get some health upgrade or damage reduction, then by all means do pick these up. And now as we are gone back to the Duke, or heading back to the Duke I should say, once you cross this bridge you will find many enemies in this location. Now before going over, go left and go down where the bridge is located, and underneath the walkway or the bridge that we've taken to get over, we will find your goat number 7 located directly right here. This one I already got. Recipe number 6. So once we eventually get back to the altar, so this is where your, um, let's call this is going to be our main hub now, so where Duke is located. And now all we need to do is buy the pipe bomb. And make sure you craft this one as well. If you have enough money, also buy the briefcase so you can hold more stuff. And now let's get the achievement for shoot well, killing five flying crows. So once you go back into the main square with the statue, to your left you will find a dead person with four crows here. All we need to do is just finish the crows off and we should get the achievement already by now. Now for file number 22. In the village, we're now gonna go through a new path that we need to take to get to your second enemy or your second boss section. Now in this building, there will be a few things you can collect, but the main important thing will be a file 22. Now for your next thing, we're gonna find the outhouse and the wooden animal body. So as we, well, as we sit in the same building, there will be an animal body here just before we leave. Make sure you pick this up and don't sell it just yet. Now go for the door and you will find the outhouse directly to your left. Also, if you like, uh, make sure you open the doorway behind you. This will be like a shortcut so we don't have to go through the house again. Outhouse number five. Just remember, unlock this door just so we have quick access so we don't go through the building again. Now for your next outhouse, this is located from the last location. Once you go through here, go to the right, you'll find an enemy here. And right next to where he's located, you will find an outhouse. Now for your M or 1911, go towards the workshop. Once again, you'll have to come here. This is all part of the story. So you should already have this weapon if you're playing New Game Plus. But once you figure out the combination, 070409, I think it was. Once you go through this drawer, you will find your mission objective key item. And you will also find the 1911. Now for your outhouse number six, as we are making our way down now. Once we get here, you will get ambushed by a new enemy type. Right here where you kill the guy will be a new outhouse that we can interact with. Now in the same area, we wanna shoot the lock now and you will find two houses. On the right side, you will find an outhouse. On the left side, there will be a note and in the middle, in between both of these buildings, in the middle section, will be your next goat as well. So now let's go get the goat. So in between these buildings, in the west old town, on top of the shack here. 
that'll be it. Now we're gonna go inside the house on your right. So not the house you can't get in, but the house with an open door. Inside here, there will be, there, sorry, there will be an enemy. Make sure you kill him and then grab your next treasure. Make sure you don't sell this until we have the head and we need to combine it to make it more valuable. Now for file number 23. We're now going to attempt to go into the house on your left. I say the left, I'm saying it as I'm looking at the minimap, not where we're standing. So this will be an area that we have to come back to because we need a key. So on the left side here, you will find the file number 23. Now we're going to grab the outhouse number eight and the well wheel. So the well wheel we don't really need to grab. That's not really part of the story. But since we're going in the direction of the story progression, go inside this building just before we go up the ladder to get the next key. So now once we follow the ladder up, we want to now go down and drop down and you will find the outhouse to the left side of the building to our left. Also, before we drop down, we can kill some chickens. There is three total. Uh, just be warned, I don't grab the third one on the right just yet, so don't panic. But feel free to do that now. So what the well wheel will do, uh, we can now access the wells located or scattered around the area. So we will be heading back now at some point to grab some of the items. Now this is a free diary. Oh, I say free diary. This is literally right next to the objective or the key item to upgrade our key. As we enter this building, you will find an enemy. We'll find a treasure box containing the key item key. And right next to it on the left, you should hopefully already press this. This will be file number 24. And now we're going to get the wooden animal head now. So with the well wheel, we're now going to go back into the main square. And right next to you, there will be a well. So make sure you use your new item to grab the animal head or the wooden animal head. So this will be for the goats. So I would recommend you guys combining this together to make it more valuable. And now this is OK to sell because there's nothing else to add to this item. Now for file number 25. Uh, just to be warned, right next to where the well is located, there is another secret, well not a secret path, but there, there's another path very close that has the teddy bear inside, but I don't grab that until later on. And now we're going to go back into the church. Uh, we're going to find the computer now inside. And now, once again, we're going to go to the next well located outside. If I'm not mistaken, this should be a treasure that is has multiple combined options. So I think it's actually called Necklace with Two Holes. So make sure you don't sell this because this, this is the only treasure we can't combine anything until late game. Now, once we go into the cemetery section, we will find a goat located on your right side. I've already got this one. Now in this same section, there will be two chickens total. So make sure you kill these to grab the meat. So you can either upgrade your character or you can just leave it and sell it for money. This is entirely up to you what you want to do. This has nothing to do with any achievements. I just thought I might show you these. And now we're going to grab the necklace, the necklace stone and the key. So now we're going to go back to the um, the fellow plot and go back to that mansion that caught on fire. Now as we go inside, we will find a treasure box containing the one single item. So this will be the necklace. So now we need to interact with it and examine it to get the necklace stone. And then now do it again. So interact with the same item that we picked up and inside the same necklace, we'll find the key.
And now we're going to get the well and the next animal kill. So now let's go back through the building on the left. So this is where we found the lady and the man inside. And now inside we'll find a white pig. Make sure we kill the pig to grab the meat. Or I should say the quality meat. So this well only has pipe bombs, but pipe bombs can come in handy. So if you want some free pipe bombs, then go for it. All right, here comes. Let's go get some more treasure. So I decided not to um, put names to this because all we're doing right now is just killing stuff. So in the um, the fallow pot, or fallow plot, I should say, there will be some chickens here. Normally, if you come here early game, these chickens won't uh, spawn here yet. So we have to come here after the first castle is done. Now, let's go get the juicy game. So we need to go back to the grave site area. We'll find a blue chrome in this location. Uh, normally, there will be a postcard after we have done the second boss, showing you that there, there's a blue bird in this tree. But since we know where it is, we can shoot it early on. All right. So what's our next thing? We're going to find some more meat and a well. So going back through the same area that we progressed through. And also where we move the tractor. So in this location, we will find a well. And also in the same location, you would have fought some bad guys here. But since we're here, we may as well get this over and done with and grab the item inside. I am not familiar what's inside again. I can't remember. I don't, I don't know for this one. Oh, lockpick. Okay. And now we're going to go inside this building. But of course, it's locked now. We need to go to the other side. So once again, go around the corner, use the tractor and go inside the building on the opposite side. Um, originally, you might have already been in here at the start of the game. Oh no, I'm pretty sure you guys did because you because normally if you come through here, you, you can grab some items. But if you go inside, there will be your next animal. This will be the black pig. So if you make sure the open is, so this will be a shortcut so we don't have to really use the tractor anymore if we don't want to. All right, before we leave to go to the second boss, we're now going to get the fish located just before we enter Lady D's castle area. So in here, you will find three fish. You know when you're done because once you pick up all the items, if you look on the map, then it will show you that there has a red cross, meaning we got everything. So now we're going to get the uh, the goblet. So now with the key that we found in the treasure that has three items inside. We're now going to open it with Lucia's key. And now for goat number 10. Once we're in the second area of the boss area. We're now going to grab the goat located on this unstable bridge. Also, you can grab it on the way back after we defeated the boss, but this is entirely up to you. Goat number 11. So just before or just, yeah, sorry, just before we go into the house, if you want to walk up to the steps heading into the house, but don't take the doorway, go to the left side. And then go into the small patch of land here on the left side. Then in this area here, you'll find another goat. I've already got this one once again. And that is it. If you want to know how to do this house, um, I have posted a walkthrough on my second channel on how to do it. So 
I will put the link in the description if you want to do that. So that's who was behind all this? Now, once you have defeated the boss, make sure you pick up the Angie statue or the doll. And now on our way back, the pathway will be changed and we go into the house. We don't have to go into the house, but if you go into the house, there'll be a weapon. This is a much stronger weapon than the shotgun, so I'd recommend using it. Once we have gotten the shotgun, we're now going to get the sun and moon ball. Also, there will be many items in this location. Also, go to the right side. Before we leave, you will find a treasure box containing the ball. So this ball will be placed into the mechanism. Well, you've done it already, where we can get a high value treasure. So now outhouse nine, and we're going to get the um, porcelain doll's head now. So go through the next door you see. In here you will find that there's an outhouse. There's a doll in the well. So we're going to do the well. Then go grab the outhouse. And in the outhouse there will be a picture of that blue bird that I was talking about earlier. At first I was a bit concerned that there wasn't nothing in there. Normally there's something in the outhouses. But I did go back and eventually look properly. But now we have the head, we can now combine the head with the body of the doll. Once again, you are now free to sell this item for a high value item. Now we're going to get file 26. Also, I want to show you that damn poster that I completely forgot. Once again, I still didn't see it. Look up, Asma. Look left. There we go. So that's the blue bird I was talking about. Now we're going to go inside now to do the file and inside will be some items and a save point now make sure you pick up the key right next to the save point because we can now gain access to that room that had the violin on top or well, violin on the door so this one is pretty damn easy to do um, there will be parts of the fence that will Go up and down, and all you have to do is just avoid going off the course. This is one of the easiest ones compared to the last one. I had so much trouble with that one. Once we've done it successfully, we'll grab the Onyx Skull. We are still in the same area. So we're now going back into the field section. So once again, this area is kind of changed up just ever so slightly. So now if you look on the gravestones, you will find two valuable items. So it'll be a large crystal and the next green crystal here or diamond or gem. Now for recipe seven and eight. Once again, you don't have to buy these now, but um, I'd rather get it over and done with. So make sure if you do have enough money, sell your items. Make sure they don't say valuable and combined. Just make sure you don't sell the wrong items just yet. Yes, I can see why you also, uh, once you made these, make sure you actually make one item of each. Because there is achievement for buying all the recipes and using or making one of each item. All right, so once we are back to the Duke, we're now going to grab the broken slab. That is for the grave site or the yeah, sorry, yeah, the grave site of the uh, dead person that we've already beat. So go back into the area of the statue. We're going to go and find the broken slab. So, there, so this is located right next to where the blue bird's located. This should be automatically unlocked after you've done the boss. So now we're going to grab the next treasure and the teddy bear. So this is the teddy bear I did say to you guys, you can grab this now to save you coming back here. But since I kind of forgot, 
We're now going to go inside to grab the treasure located in the fire pit here. And then we're going to grab the treasure located on the left. There's a big ass teddy bear. And now we're going to grab the high capacity mag. This is for your sniper rifle. So now with the key we found, we need to head back to this location. So that's the door with the violin on the door itself. So this will be a shortcut going through. So to save us to go round, we can actually go through. A lot quicker than before. All right, so once we're inside, once you have figured out how to do this, if you want to do it, then do it yourself. There will be something on the wall that you can look at to tell you the combination. But if you don't care, then feel free to look at what the combination I'm doing is 27091 and seven. In here, you will find a treasure, quite valuable as well, so sell this. And inside you will find your Sniper Rifle Upgrade. So there is a lot of upgradable stuff only in the Duke store. So there's very, very little of these scattered around the game. Unfortunately, so all of them are related to the Duke. We are now going to go back to where we have defeated the second boss. So if you guys have actually interacted with that grave site, I'm not sure if that grave site opens up the... Um, the part for the broken slab but if it does then i do apologize i didn't realize but i don't think it does but as we go back through the uh the spooky foggy area in the same area where we found the sun and moon ball and the shotgun you will find another animal that we can kill now as we go to the grave site we will find this lovely boss since i have infinite ammo it, this boss was a breeze but um, I would recommend staying afar. So if you have sniper rifle ammo, then feel free to use that. That's very handy because the boss doesn't really come after you if you stay where we spawned in. Once we have killed the boss, make sure you pick up the treasure and now insert the broken piece of slab that we picked up in the previous area and insert it into the or onto the gravestone. Once we've done that, we can now pick up the chalice. And now once we have gone back to where the Duke is located, we can sell any items that we have and also save it. Once we get into the new area, you will get attacked by a new enemy. Once we have killed this beast, we can grab the crystal beast treasure. If for some reason this guy is quite difficult for you, there is a grenade launcher on the left side, so in that building. So if you are having some trouble, uh, that will help you greatly. So this will be the area now heading towards Monroe. So before we do that, we're going to grab the next file located in the building on your right. So this is where the animal does push you in. And in the same building, you'll find a dead guy containing the next file. So now we're going to grab the grenade launcher. So this will be your probably your best weapon to actually upgrade if you haven't got the DLC that unlocks everything for you. For your Village of Shadows playthrough. Because you don't have to upgrade this, you can just buy the infinite ammo after you beat the game. What's quite neat. So now once we've done that, we're now going to head into Munrell's area. So in here we'll find, I think there's two black pigs here. It's the first time using this. And now to finish off the video, we're now going to go inside the windmill. We're going to find the picture of the rare pig so we can get an idea where it's located. And we're going to end this video here. 
I will see you guys and girls in the next video. So there should be three max videos. Hopefully, to finish up the videos.